Here we are at Founders Landing in Marquette, Michigan on a beautiful Upper Peninsula summer day and we are looking at ancient volcanic rocks. Right here, this is something called a pillow basalt. This is part of the 2.7 billion year old Mona formation. And back then, billions of years ago, this area was covered by an ancient ocean. And when lava erupts underwater, the outer part of it quenches very quickly and forms a blob. And then more lava erupts and forms another blob. And so you get this series of these pillows that erupt on the sea floor. The outermost part of that is actually volcanic glass. And that volcanic glass reacts with the seawater and forms what's called pelagonite. And even though these rocks are very ancient, we can still see that pelagonite rim around them. Now, the story of these rocks of the Mona Formation doesn't end there. This area was um, a metamorphosed as Laurentia, which is the ancient core of the modern continent of North America. As Laurentia was assembling, we had collisions of little terrains, little pieces of crust would hit each other and have these mountain building events. And that metamorphosed all of these rocks here to the green schist facies. So that's why they have a little bit of a greenish tint because they're not the original minerals of that basalt. But the thing is, their story doesn't end there. During the Pleistocene, we had huge glaciers covering this area, actually several kilometers thick. And in that ice, there were rocks stuck in there. And the ice scraped those rocks across these rocks, and you see these scratches developed in there. Those are called glacial striations. And so in these rocks right here, we have this very long and fascinating geologic history. As long as you can take the time to come out here and look at all the details that they capture.